Hello, my name is Carlos Núñez, and today we are going to review the traffic flow with Steelhead SaaS optimization. First of all, let's have a quick overview of a typical Steelhead SaaS deployment. We have the branch office where the end users are located, the enterprise Steelhead, this is Akamai's network, which is our cloud partner, and inside Akamai, we have the Akamai Cloud Steelhead, which is a Steelhead virtual instance. Here we have the SaaS provider, or the end server. In this example, we'll use Microsoft as a SaaS provider and Office 365 as the SaaS platform. Now that we have a high level overview of all the components, let's see what happens when one user wants to access Office 365. We have a user in the branch office who wants to check his email. So he opens a browser and types outlook.office365.com. The computer will send a DNS request to the local DNS resolver, and the DNS resolver will return the IP address of the requested URL. Once the computer knows which IP address to use, it will send a SIM packet to that server. The steelhead will receive this SIM packet and we'll verify if the server IP address belongs to any of the Steelhead SaaS platforms. It will detect that this is Office 365 traffic, so the Steelhead will attempt to optimize this traffic. Before sending this SIM packet to the server, the client-side Steelhead will create a UDP tunnel with Akamai. It's important to know that all the Steelhead SaaS traffic between the client-side Steelhead and Akamai will be sent through this UDP tunnel. To create this tunnel, the steelhead will send a special DNS request, which will be forwarded from the local DNS resolver to Akamai. With this response, the steelhead will use the returned IP address to create a tunnel. Once the tunnel is created, a second DNS request will be sent through the tunnel. This second DNS request will make sure that we set up the tunnel in the most optimal location. After the tunnel is established, the steelhead will add a TCP probe to the SIM packet and send it through the tunnel. Once Akamai receives the SIM packet, it will verify whether there is any existing mapping for this combination of client and server IP addresses. If there is already an existing mapping, Akamai will send this SIM to the appropriate Akamai Cloud steelhead. If there are no mappings between the client and the server, Akamai will calculate the most optimal region to send this traffic to and redirect the SIN packet to that region. If this is the very first time that this region is optimizing traffic for this customer, Akamai will spin up a new Akamai Cloud steelhead. This process can take up to five minutes, so it can be expected that the first connections are not optimized. While the Akamai Cloud steelhead is being deployed, the SYNAC response from the server will not contain any TCP probe and the current connection report will show these initial connections as pass-through. After a few minutes, once the Akamai Cloud Steelhead is up and running, we will be ready to optimize the traffic. When the Steelhead gets a new connection for the same server, it will send a SYN packet with a TCP probe, but this time the Akamai Cloud Steelhead will be able to intercept it. When the server responds with a SYNAC, the Akamai Cloud Steelhead will add a TCP probe to it. This probe will allow the client-side Steelhead to peer with the Akamai Cloud Steelhead and start optimizing the traffic. And from here, we will have the same flow as a regular optimized connection. We will have a connection between the user computer and the client-side Steelhead. We will have another connection between the Steelheads, which is called the inner channel. And at last, the connection between the Akamai Cloud Steelhead and the end server. From now on, the Outlook traffic for this user will be optimized by the Steelhead. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon again.